Now you might assume looking at that that that's also a video, but the truth is that's in-game DX12. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go between manual and automatic so I can shift back and forth, and when you see the word manual up there, I'm going to drive, so let's let this go through auto, and then I'll change the lighting and you can see this real time. So as it pauses here, I can take over, so now I can scroll around, I can look down, I can change the lighting effects as they come through, I can move on to the next scene. Again, let it run in auto. And now I'm going to take, take it and drive around. Again, I can adjust the lighting. And we can keep going through in this way. Let me bring the shadows in, take them out. All right, let's keep going through. I'm going to pass through this one and go on to the next one. And we'll see as we get closer, we'll look at the skin tone. Now, the thing that's really incredible about what you're seeing is just the, the density of data that's involved in this. Um, each of these scenes is over 63 million polygons per scene. That's about six to 12 times more than we could do with the X11. Uh, just to give you an idea on the textures that, are, that you're seeing here, uh, those are 8K by 8K textures, again, significantly more than we're able to do. I think where it gets really interesting, though, is, is look at the hair. Every piece of hair that you're seeing is actually being rendered as a polygon. This isn't surface map stuff. Um, and there, as those polygons are running through the pipeline, they're running over 50 different shaders to go through this and to generate that level of, of clarity on this. I think it's an incredible example of just how far people are pushing the limits of big data and technology, bringing it together, and really building experiences that would be hard to build 